Worship him, Christ the Lord. Amen. Let me read it once again. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, made him both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said to them, Repent, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, for the promise is to you and to your children, and to all who are far off, as many as the Lord our God will call. And with many other words, testified and exhorted them, saying, Be saved from this perverse generation. The word of God for you, the people of God. I want to talk to you this morning from the subject, uh, from a minus seven. To a plus seven. A minus seven to a plus seven. Taylor, there are many references to the number seven. For instance, uh, no animal could be sacrificed until it was at least seven days old. Uh, there were seven I am's in the Gospel of John that Jesus used when he spoke of himself. There were seven pairs of clean animals that were received into the ark. Do you remember Joshua and Israel marched around Jericho seven times while seven priests blew seven trumpets before the walls came crashing down. Elisha told the military commander Naaman to bathe in the Jordan River seven times and he would be healed of his leprosy. There were seven qualities of attributes of the Messiah that was mentioned in Isaiah 11 and 2. There, there, there are seven things that the Lord hates. And they are mentioned in Proverbs 6 and 16. The number seven in the Bible, uh, it represents divine perfection, uh, totality or completion. Uh, therefore, failure from a minus seven, and seven means perfection, I'm in deep trouble. Uh, and I need to know how to turn the ship around. Uh, how can I go from a zero uh, to a hero? Uh, how can I move from lawlessness uh, to flawlessness? Uh, for minus seven, minus seven spells trouble, uh, sinfulness, uh, and covered with sin flies. Uh, let me tell you this short story. Uh, preacher said that he came back to his office uh, and found fruit flies all over his desk. Uh, the preacher attacked them with bug spray, tried to kill a few of them with his bare hand. Uh, but for all the ones he got, there was a dozen more there to take his place. Uh, every time he annihilated one, two more popped up. Uh, he had never heard of fruit flies uh, in an office. Uh, a member told him the only place that he saw fruit flies were around rotting fruit. Uh, so the pastor checked his waste basket uh, and there it was, sure enough, sure enough, um, that was a dirty, uh, fuzzy tennis ball looking rotten orange that he had thrown in the waste basket and forgotten about. Uh, it was now covered with fruit flies. Uh, when he emptied 
the waste basket. Sure enough, guess what? Uh, uh, the fruit flies disappeared. Uh, that rotting on job. Uh, Remind him and you and I this morning of our sin nature. Our lawless lives are nothing but rotting flesh. And all we attract are sin flies. Sin festers and grows in us like stinking fruit until it consumes uh, but thanks be to God our Father uh, There's a way to clean up our stench uh, And get rid of the flies uh, So we can go from lowliness to flawliness uh, From a minus seven uh, to a plus seven uh, It is called uh, salvation uh, And the way to achieve it uh, You need to empty your waste basket of your heart time because Christ cannot and will not dwell uh, in unclean place. Uh, here this morning in our text uh, there are three steps uh, we must take to get rid of these flies. Uh, step one you got to repent. Uh, then Peter said unto them repent. Uh, repent though Taylor it's a word that hard to understand for several reasons. What you mean, preacher? Uh, first, we don't repent because we don't see a need to. Uh, second, we don't have anything to be sorry for. Uh, and third, uh, we say my business is my business and nobody else's. Uh, that's the tough uh, exterior shell of you and I uh, that the gospel of Jesus Christ has to crack. Uh, here's another reason repentance is difficult uh, repentance is not a one time confession uh, oh, oh I, I know John the Baptist said repent and be baptized uh, and I know most of you have, have already done that uh, but the command to repent uh, isn't a one time thing Taylor is, is continual it is a continual manifestation uh, it is an ongoing experience. Uh, when we reflect uh, on our own conversion uh, and the newness of our life in Christ, uh, it gives us uh, a sense of awe and wonder that God could take this messed up vessel, uh, 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 this messed up person, uh, this sin-laden person uh, we call man and woman, uh, and transform our sinful flesh into a saintly fortress. Uh, and that's the mental picture this morning that we want to preserve. Uh, like a snapshot in our wallet. Uh, you know how we grandparents and uh, grandmothers are. Uh, we got grandchildren. Uh, first thing we want to do is pull out our wallet and show the pictures uh, of our grandchildren. Uh, we said, look at this. Uh, so, so, so. This morning we're saying, look at me. I'm cleaned up now. And I'm ready to serve the Lord. But before you go to clapping your hands, what about those sins you committed yesterday? Didn't they smudge up that picture you just thought about a little bit? How about that guy you, you or that woman you avoided at Walmart? She went down one aisle, you went down the other, and you didn't want to be bothered with her because... They'll talk you to death. Uh, what about that movie you watched last weekend? Uh, what about that piece of candy or, or that, that grape as you walk by in the mall that you pinched uh, and put in your mouth? Uh, uh, or what about that, that, that case of water that you had up underneath the cart and that she didn't see it and you knew it was there? Uh, you just walked on out like a gift and took it home. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Oh, what about that person that you don't want to sit by uh, at the church because she claps too loud, huh? she shouts too much. Uh, uh, let me ask you, is that is that picture God has of you now or is it getting a little cloudy? Uh, 
is it smudging up a little bit? Uh, you need to know we commit sins every day. When we recall our unkind thoughts, uh, our careless words, uh, our selfish deeds, uh, our repentant spirit uh, allows those sins uh, to immediately fall away and be buried uh, with Christ. Uh, and that's how our spirit eternal newness uh, keeps springing up. Uh, God make us new every day, uh, every minute. Uh, not by ignoring our sins, uh, but by shining his light of his forgiveness upon it. Uh, so if you want to be transformed, uh, if you want to go from being a minus seven, uh, to a plus seven. Uh, uh, step one is to repent. Uh, for he that covered his sin shall not prosper. Uh, but whosoever confess and forsake them shall have mercy. Uh, that's what Proverbs 28 and 13 tells us. Uh, step two. Uh, you got to trust in Christ. Uh, be baptized. Uh, every one of you in the name of Jesus for the remissions of sin. Uh, Repentance uh, just make you sorry uh, for all the sins you committed, uh, past, present, and future. Uh, but saying I'm sorry uh, uh, doesn't remove the penalty for your actions. Uh, man, man, men try to remove the penalty for their sins. Uh, how, how do they do that, preacher? We say I'm sorry. Uh, we give up bad habits. Uh, we even try to make restitution when it's possible. Uh, and sometimes people forgive us, uh, and sometimes they don't. Uh, but the truth is uh, that their forgiveness uh, does not wash away our guilt. Uh, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Uh, their truth, their forgiveness does not wash away our guilt. Uh, you see, guilt has a way of sticking around. Uh, Knocking on our door over and over again. Uh, you, you, you try. Uh, you try to scrub that lying tongue, uh, but you're still guilty. Uh, you, start, you try to scrub those mischievous feet, uh, still guilty. Uh, you try to scrub that filthy heart, uh, still guilty. Uh, the only way to stop the guilt from destroying us uh, to let Christ uh, do the scrub. Uh, forgiveness can only be accomplished uh, by a loving Savior who paid the price for your sins uh, and mine's on Calvary. Uh, you gotta trust uh, that he died for your sins. Uh, rose again to make you right with God uh, and lives uh, to be your Savior. Uh, I know, I know, I know that's a tough one. Uh, but that's the door that we all have to walk through. Uh, Jesus said, I'm the way. I'm the way. Uh, the truth uh, and the life. Uh, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Uh, let me tell you another little short skit. Uh, a pastor used to carry uh, a big wad of keys uh, that is memberless jokingly call the keys to the kingdom. Uh, a young boy in his congregation was amazed uh, at the way the pastor could pick the right key to unlock any door in the church. Uh, he would watch the pastor flip through the shiny keys for most of them was brass uh, and choose the right key to gain access. Uh, so one day the boy asked, uh, Pastor, how do you know which key to use? They all look the same. Huh? The pastor showed him the secret. Huh? Each key huh? had a letter etched on it. Huh? F for front door. Huh? B for back door. Huh? K for kitchen. Huh? O for office. Huh? S for study and so on. Huh? You see, it was all a matter of using the key with the right mark on it. Huh? You, you, you got a key. Uh, you got a key uh, to your door of forgiveness. Uh, what is it, Pastor? What is it? Well, uh, the key you got is marked with C. Uh, 
The C stand for Christ. Christ said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man hear my voice and open the door, guess what? I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. He said, To him that overcome it will I grant to sit with my throne, even as I also overcome, and I am set down with my father in his throne. Uh, step three, uh, you got to receive the Holy Ghost. Uh, you got to receive the Holy Ghost. Uh, one of the three persons of the Trinity. Uh, man have always had the hardest time describing is this one. Uh, the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. Uh, Luke uh, described him as a mighty rushing wind. Uh, Powerful, yet evasive, uh, strong, but invisible. Uh, the very name Holy Ghost uh, suggests something formless, indefinable, and beyond words. Uh, when we hear God the Father, uh, it fills our mind with concrete pictures. Uh, our earthly Father, uh, or for some, the Father that we wish uh, we had. Uh, when we hear God the Son, uh, the pictures take on a very human form, uh, much like our own. Uh, and the Bible paints a vivid picture for us, uh, the Son's journey uh, from Bethlehem to Calvary. Uh, but Taylor, when we hear God the Spirit, uh, the picture suddenly becomes a bit muddled. Uh, 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 our carnal mind can't envision it. Uh, artists portray him as a dove uh, because that's the form he took uh, when he descended upon Christ uh, at his baptism. Uh, but that's a strange image of Almighty God. Uh, a gentle bird uh, that flutters out of the reach when you try to grasp it. Uh, but uh, that's another term that I like and I'm going to let you go. Uh, uh, uh. I like the title Jesus gives the Holy Ghost. Uh, we need, he gives him the name, he's a comforter, uh, uh, an advocate, uh, a helper, uh, a counselor, uh, someone uh, to help navigate us uh, through uh, this mess we call the living. Uh, but there uh, is no visible manifestation of the comforter. Uh, for the most part, uh -huh. he doesn't suddenly uh -huh, materialize uh -huh, in all of his power uh -huh, for the whole world to see. Uh -huh. Instead, uh -huh, he remains elusive, uh -huh, out of sight, uh -huh, because uh -huh, his role uh -huh, is to be uh -huh, an inward experience for the soul, uh -huh, rather. Uh -huh. Then an outward feast uh -huh, for the eyes. Uh -huh. And what uh -huh, is his role? Uh -huh. He, uh -huh, I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. He uh -huh, is our daily source uh -huh, for strength uh -huh, and guidance. Uh -huh. The Holy Ghost uh -huh, is our guide uh -huh, who will help us uh -huh, to do God's will. Uh -huh. First, uh -huh, we repent. Uh -huh. Then, uh -huh, we trust God. Uh -huh. And then, uh -huh, we receive the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. But the Holy Ghost uh -huh, is not an addition to our faith. Uh -huh. He is uh -huh, the source uh -huh, of our faith. Uh -huh. He is uh -huh, the wellspring of uh -huh, of our faith existence. Uh -huh. We do uh -huh, a lot of talking uh -huh, about tearing uh -huh, in the upper room uh -huh, waiting uh -huh, for the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. We get that idea uh -huh, from the disciples uh, who were uh -huh, in the upper room uh -huh, when Jesus told them uh -huh, to stay uh -huh, stay there uh -huh, until uh -huh, you endure it uh -huh, with power uh -huh, from on high uh -huh, Taylor uh -huh, the Holy 
Holy Spirit uh -huh, is everywhere. Uh -huh. And if you desire him, uh -huh, he is yours. Uh -huh. It's just uh -huh, that simple. Uh -huh. You don't have to wait. Uh -huh. You just have to repent. Uh -huh. Trust Jesus uh -huh, for your salvation. Uh -huh. And the Holy Ghost, uh -huh, he will uh -huh, instantly show up. Uh -huh. Knocking uh -huh, on the door uh -huh, of your heart uh -huh. If you choose uh -huh, the Holy Ghost uh -huh. Guess what Taylor uh -huh. He's gonna become uh -huh, a thorn uh -huh, in your flesh uh -huh, Until he becomes uh -huh, a song uh -huh, in your heart uh -huh. He's working uh -huh, on your building uh -huh. He's building you uh -huh. For the king, uh -huh. the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. his job uh -huh, is to make you uh -huh, a new person. Uh -huh. And as you trust in Christ, uh -huh, the Holy Spirit, uh -huh, he will, uh -huh, he will uh -huh, make you a person. Uh -huh. The Holy Spirit uh -huh, has power uh -huh, to take us uh -huh, from loneliness uh -huh, to flawlessness, uh -huh, to get rid of uh -huh, the stigma to sin uh -huh, that attracts sin flies uh -huh. the Holy Spirit uh -huh, can move you uh -huh, from the left side uh -huh, of the scales uh -huh, from a minus uh -huh, to a positive uh -huh. Jesus said uh -huh, I will pray uh -huh, that the Father uh -huh, he should give you uh -huh, give you another uh -huh. well uh -huh, who is it uh -huh. he heals uh -huh. my comfort uh -huh. he will uh -huh. abide with us uh -huh. now and forever uh -huh. he heals uh -huh. the spirit of truth uh -huh. whom uh -huh. the world uh -huh. cannot receive uh -huh. why uh -huh. because uh -huh. it sees and not uh -huh. neither does they know him uh -huh. but you know him. Uh, you've been born again. Uh, he dwells uh, on the inside of you. Uh, you know him uh, for he lives uh, on the inside of you. Uh, he's got Jesus. Uh, he will uh, make a way for you. Uh, it's true uh, that you don't have anything uh, for God. Uh, you can. Uh, you can turn away uh, from his offering. Uh, of salvation, uh, and you can continue uh, uh, to fest us uh, uh, like that orange uh, uh, and stink up the world uh, uh, with sin. Uh, uh, but if you do, uh, uh, you'll spend the rest of your life uh, uh, swatting flies. Uh, if you refuse, uh, uh, God mercy now uh, uh, without judgment. Uh, uh, one day uh, uh, you will face God's wrath uh, uh, without mercy. Uh, uh, if you refuse uh, to accept Jesus Christ uh, as your personal Savior now, uh, he will, uh, he will uh, one day say, uh, depart from me. Uh, I know you're not. Uh, he works uh, of iniquity. Uh, you uh, have the chance uh, right now, uh, this morning, uh, to empty uh, your wastebasket uh, of your heart uh, and begin uh, anew. Uh, and just like that, uh, you can go from a minus uh, to a plus. Uh, you can go uh, from a goat uh, to a sheep. Uh, Taylor Chapel, uh, all you got to do uh, is repent. Uh, fall down uh, on your knees. Uh, cry out, uh, for God I'll live uh, and for God I'll die. Uh, empty yourself uh, of the corruption, uh, of the blemish, uh, the contamination, uh, the ruins, uh, the spores of sins. Uh, trust Christ. Uh, he is uh, the bread of life uh, who will uh, satisfy your hunger. Uh, he is uh, the captain uh, of our salvation. Uh, he will uh, fight your battles. Uh, he is uh, your savior, he forgives when you mess up. Receive his gift.
gifts, uh, the Holy Spirit, uh, he will uh, grant your soul uh, some peace. Uh, he will uh, give you joy uh, in a broken heart. Uh, he will uh, clean you up uh, and make you new. Uh, he will uh, chase those flies of sin. Uh, he will uh, put them away. Uh, I'm reminded uh, in my Bible uh, there was a leopard uh, who was full of leprosy. Uh, he saw Jesus uh, and he come running to Jesus. Uh, he said, Jesus, uh, if thy will, uh, will you make me whole? Uh, I messed up uh, from the floor up. Uh, I got sores uh, all over my body. Uh, I can't walk uh, with my family. Uh, everybody uh, is turning their back on me. I can't work. Father, I stretch my hand to thee. Oh, Father, oh, Father, I know you can. Will you, will you make me whole? That's what Jesus did. Jesus reached out. He touched him and said, I will be thy whole. And immediately, the old man, the young man, he was healed. He was a right. He went from a minor seven to a plus seven. He went because God touched his life. He went because he seen God. And I'm wondering, is there anybody here? Are you seeking him? I'm wondering, is there anybody here? Uh, on the wrong side uh, of the scales uh, is there anybody here uh, wanna try Jesus uh, is there anybody here uh, know he will uh, fight your battles uh, if you know it uh, you ought to show it uh, if you know it uh, make some noise uh, he will uh, he will uh, he will uh, he will uh, he will. He'll move you. If you let him. The old folks used to say, just let Jesus lead you. Let him lead me. He'll move you from that left side. He'll move you to that right side. And I don't know about you. I was a minus too long. I stayed on the wrong side too long. But thank God through his grace and mercy. When I cried out, he wasn't hard to find. He told us, he said, I'm right there. I'm just waiting on you to invite me in. When I done that, Jesus changed me. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. There may be one here this morning who want to move uh, from a minus seven to a plus seven. Uh, now, I don't want you to fool yourself. Uh, you see, just because your name is on the church roll, uh, you can still be on the wrong side. Uh, 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 just because uh, your name is on Taylor Chapel Road uh, does not mean it's on God's road. Uh, I ask you this morning uh, to look at yourself. Uh, check yourself. Uh, and see if you need a makeover. Every now and then, we get so holy that we're no earthly good. We think that once saved is always. But you have to repent every day. You have to ask God for forgiveness every day. And that's the cry sing. I want to extend to you the invitation I shall see the to come and unite with us. Yes, Is that when, one? I've gone, when I've gone the last, the last oh, yes, yes. Oh, listen, listen. And right now, oh God, we stand in a repentance mode. We know, Lord, that there is nothing can stand between you and I so that you will not hear our prayer. 
But we clear our hearts and our mind, oh God, that you will be a prayer answering God. And God, we petition you right now to look down upon our musician, the Moles family, and say, have that little baby at the doctor right now, oh God. Send your x-ray eyes, oh God. Take care, Lord. Do the surgery. Guide the doctors. We know you are the great physician. You never lost a case. And you said that whatever we ask for on earth, that you were binding in heaven. And Lord, we lose healing. We lose deliverance. We lose your power upon this baby today. They love you, Lord. And they know you in the pardon of their sins. And Lord, I know they will be gracious to, and humble and careful to give you the praise. Not only the most family, oh God, but we have others among us this morning that are looking to the doctors to work a miracle in their lives. For the doctors say you need surgery. We don't know the, the we don't know the case, oh Lord, but we know you know. We know you know all about it, even before we ask. And Lord, we just ask you to just stand by, stand with us. Don't leave us, oh God. But in this time that we are living in, be our head, be our protector, be our leader, and be our guide. God, we love you today. We lift you up. We tell a dying word that you are almighty God. You have all power in heaven and earth. And so, God, we come now. Ask you to look down upon Taylor Chapel Church family. And not all our family, oh God, but all other your children. And those that don't even know you, that they will come to know you. We live in a time that we need the O oh Lord. We need the every hour, every day, and every minute. And give us the strength, Lord. Just stand. And we do all that we can. Let us just stand anyway and declare your glory. God, we ask you to just release healing around this church and all over the land, oh God. We are down and out, but we are not cast aside. We know you still love us and you are still with us. Not only do you have our back, but you have our all around us, oh God. God, we lift you up. We love you. And ask you to just hear our prayer and grant our wish. Because we believe our wish is in line with your wish. We miss our music. We know she would be here. Take care of the babies, the least from to the oldest. Take care of all your children, oh God, wherever they may be. And God, we give you praise. We give you glory. We love you. And we will continue to magnify your name, regardless of the outcome. But we believe you are faithful and that you will do according to your will. In the name of Jesus, I have prayed this prayer. Let all God's children say amen. When I've gone, the last mile, oh, the way.